The progress never stops. Astronomers all around the world continue to discover more and more extreme objects in space, while our tools and technologies are getting better. And while we often marvel at the biggest stars, sometimes the smallest ones are even more fascinating. So today's hero is the smallest star of 2025 that we know of. Meet EBLM J0555 57 AB, located roughly 669 light years away in the constellation Pictor. This tiny red dwarf star is about the same size as Jupiter, a star so small it's barely classified as one at all. With a radius of 0.084 suns, this tiny red dwarf is only 87 times the mass of Jupiter right at the edge where stars stop and brown dwarfs begin. Its surface temperature is around 2,500 degrees Celsius, cooler than some exoplanets. Currently, it is the smallest known star with a mass sufficient enough to enable the fusion of hydrogen in its core and be considered a true star. Hydrogen fusion is the process that powers all stars. Hydrogen atoms are crushed together under intense pressure and temperature to form helium, releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of light and heat. But this process can only happen if a star has enough mass to create the necessary pressure in its core. That limit is roughly 0.075 solar masses. If an object falls below the line, it becomes a brown dwarf, a substellar object that glows faintly from leftover heat but never truly shines. Being just about 59,000 kilometers in radius, 57 AB produces just a fraction of a percent of the sun's energy output. If it replaced our sun, we would definitely freeze in darkness. Its low mass, tiny size and faint glow make it nearly impossible to see without a telescope. It was only found because it passes in front of its companion star, dimming its light ever so slightly. Because it burns its hydrogen fuel so slowly, 57 AB could live for trillions of years, thousands of times longer than our Sun, which is expected to last only about 10 billion years in total. That's because stars like this one are incredibly fuel efficient. Their cool temperatures and low energy output mean that they use the hydrogen very gradually, avoiding the violent outbursts of rapid expansion that larger stars go through. Some models suggest that it could shine for up to 10 trillion years or more. That's over 700 times the current age of the universe. In fact, red dwarfs like this may be the last generation of stars, the final source of light before the universe enters what's known as the heat death, the time when all stars have faded and galaxies themselves have begun to fade and the cosmos becomes cold, dark and still. So even though 57 AB is small and quiet now, it may one day outlast everything else in the sky. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts down below.